This is News Today. Sawadee Ka. Phuket remains right in the centre of the Rohingya refugee issue with more boats arriving over the weekend. 102 Rohingya people fleeing persecution in the Rakhine state of Myanmar were discovered in Phuket yesterday. The first group of Rohingya were found on Sunday at the Lam Panwa Mosque by Widget Police. There were eight men, one woman and two children. Another group consisting of 91 Rohingya were found in Rawai, including at least 38 children. Police have told the Phuket News that there's no clear plan from the central government to handle the ongoing Rohingya crisis. Reports suggest a third boat is heading for the island, but there are fears it may be lost at sea. Phuket residents are being told not to worry about an outbreak of dengue fever on the island. At the same time, the Phuket Provincial Public Health Office is warning us to remain vigilant about the problem. Last week, the Bangkok Metropolitan Administration warned that the number of dengue fever cases is on the rise in the capital and the spread of the tropical disease is likely to be more serious this year than previously. As usual, we're being asked to remove any stagnant water from a around our properties to limit the places for mosquitoes to lay their eggs. Anyone who has a problem with mosquitoes should contact health office in their area. Contact details are available at phuketnews.com. There is still a lot of unanswered questions as police continue to investigate Friday's fuel spill of Koh Ray. Around 2,000 litres of fuel spilled into the harbour after a fishing boat sank on Friday. But officials insist the spill is under control. Phuket Marine Police say they are still searching for the owner of the boat and any others responsible for the event. They're also trying to figure out the cause of the sinking. The Phuket News has taken an interesting initiative to work with local Thai journalists to help improve their English. In a venture with the provincial government, the new ECC will concentrate on vocabulary and putting better sentences together. Well, it's important uh, for them to get a better relationship with their, uh, with their interviewer. Uh, it's also important for them to better their English in a sense uh, for everyday conversation. To the weather and it's just hot and hotter all this week, creeping up to 35 during the week and the nights not dropping below 27. No rain in sight, although there could be the odd thunderstorm around the island today or tomorrow. The wind is blowing out of the northwest up to 14 kilometres per hour, up to 0.4 of a metre of swell. Low tide is at 3.47 this afternoon and the high tide tonight at 9.27. Lights out at 6.38. Hope you're somewhere nice to enjoy that. We'll have more news today tomorrow. In the meantime, you can go to the PhuketNews.com to catch up with the latest news. Make sure you like us at our Facebook page and we'll be back again tomorrow. Stay classy, Phuket.